What's up guys? Welcome to my bedroom. Uh, you guys probably haven't been in here in a long time and it looks quite a bit different because I've done like a makeover in this room, which I'm going to actually make a video on pretty soon. I'm still missing a few pieces. That's why I haven't made it yet. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my closet tour. Well, <laughs> this isn't my closet. Obviously my closet is over there, but I've taken out my favorite pieces from my wardrobe and I put them here guys. And I'm just going to show you all those pieces today. So guys, if you haven't already, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's do this shit. All right, boys. So we're going to start off with the tees. I do have some more tees actually. They are in the wash right now and I wasn't going to pull them out while they're absolutely drenched. So I just got the ones that I've got here. So this is one of my favorites guys. This is a unique low oversized tee. As you guys know, I said recently that I've been in love with like the oversized fit guys. So I bought these recently. I also have a black one as well, which is in the wash, but I absolutely love the oversized fits guys from unique low. It's a little bit thicker cotton material as well, which is nice. I think it just goes really nicely. If you guys have some straight jeans or some baggier pants, I think these shirts go really really well with those and then I've got over here which is a boss Cine shirt which I've actually never heard of this brand before I got this one from the thrift store guys but it is really freaking nice like it is it's a fitted tee it's not an oversized tee the material is very stretchy and really nice and soft on the skin so and it's obviously it's a really nice color it's a little bit of this uh you know it's like a purplish blue which is pretty nice so yeah those are my two favorite tees I also have the black one in the oversized which is also my favorite it's just in the wash right now now for our camp collar t-shirts you guys have seen these multiple times before start off with this one so this one is from Zara it's it's a little bit different guys it's got some texture to it I know it, maybe on camera you can't really tell but it's got a really nice texture to it it's not what I expected and the actual pattern on it I didn't even realize till recently it's actually a beach which is pretty cool it's got some really nice colors in it that was the main reason why I liked it it wasn't too bright for me but it just had a little bit of color and then obviously it's got the neutral beige on it which looks really nice as well and for this one this one's just the vibe <laughs> you guys have seen this one multiple times like this is something you bust out on a Sunday right after you just got laid like you bust this thing out so this one is actually from a brand called cat never heard of this brand before guys uh, I have no idea I've never looked at their website to see if they have any other clothes that are, are decent this might just be one of those pieces where it's just like oh this is pretty nice and then all their other stuff is just shit but it could also have really good stuff too I haven't checked it out before guys so you have to let me know but yeah this one's from cat and I, I like this one it's a good summer shirt now as for the big flannels this is exactly what you guys want to be wearing like pretty much in the next few months here for fall time so you're gonna see me wearing this shit like every single day so right here got one from a company called black chocolate the nice black and white one guys just very minimal this is gonna go with literally all of my outfits so I like this one a lot when it comes to flannels guys you don't need to worry about brands you don't need like Gucci and Zara and shit like it doesn't matter they're all gonna pretty much fit exactly the same quality is not gonna be like significantly better on another brand they all use pretty much the same quality so this one here this this red and black one I really like as well uh, this I normally just pair this with like black pants, beige pants, white pants, and I think it's a really nice combination. This one is from a company called Hunt Club, and once again, it's just an average flannel. And then this one here is one of my most recent pickups from the thrift store. You guys would know if you watched that video, but this one I really like. I just really like the color, the blue and the red and the white. I just think it looks really good, guys. And this is from a brand called Street Legal. All right, now we got our crew next. So the first one we'll talk about is this Tommy Hilfiger one. This one obviously has quite large branding on it, which I don't normally go for but you know I found this one and I was like you know I actually like it this is like the one exception the one time I actually like let's just plaster a fucking big logo on my chest like Superman I actually like this one guys so that's an exception though I won't normally go for that but it's white so it goes with everything guys and you know it's it's a nice crew knife. and we got this one here which you guys have seen before is the Armani exchange one that I recently got from the thrift store it's a vintage one so it's really sick it's got a little bit of that oversized fit also the material like I've said before is like a towel material it doesn't feel like regular cotton it's like a towel it's really weird but I really like it it's, it's pretty dope <laughs> right here we have something that, recent recent pickup this was in the past like couple days and this is a Tommy Hilfiger vintage click a motherfucking uh oh uh. turtleneck <laughs> I'm just like sucking the soul out of somebody yeah so this is a, a turtleneck this is like a really really nice thick turtleneck guys it's super nice the fit is really cool on this it's really fluffy super soft it's it's just dope I don't really know what to say other than that it's black you know very minimal guys so a lot of my pieces are gonna be pretty minimal so they can go with each other this is my favorite quarter zip crew neck I guess that's what it would be called um it's a Calvin Klein one also from the thrift store I love how it's got this little ring on it too I think it just adds a little bit more detail to it it's great once again goes with everything and it's super soft it's, it's really difficult to like talk about 
about clothes, guys, all of them are gonna be pretty much the same. They're nice, they're soft, you know, the fit good. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm just showing you guys. <laughs> now for our jackets, we've got to our jean jackets here. So this one is from a company called Streetwear Society. And this is one that you can wear. It's it's fairly light, so it's like a good, you know, springtime jacket, fall time. It's baggy enough that I can fit a hoodie underneath it, guys. It's got enough room. And yeah, it's just a nice jean jacket. I, I have no idea. This could be a woman's jean jacket. I have no idea. It looks pretty sparkly on here, so. And for this one, which is this like really sick vintage one, guys. I'd never heard of this brand before. It's called DIB Paris. I've looked it up before. I cannot find it anywhere because people keep asking me where I've gotten this. So this is a really nice jean jacket. It's a bit puffy, so it's got a little bit of a different fit because it is that vintage style. It's a great winter jacket, guys. Like it's super heavy. So you just throw on a hoodie underneath this and you could go out in like negative 3000 degree weather. <laughs> okay, maybe not that but you guys know what I mean. This is a recent pickup as well. This is a puffer jacket that I got from American Eagle. No, it's very simple. It's just a plain black puffer, which I think is an essential for the winter time. I think all of you guys should own one of these because it's pretty stylish, guys. And it's also like you can just change up your underneath layers as you normally will have this open and like you'll have a different outfit every time you wear it, guys. <laughs> we got some hoodies, boys. So I'm excited to tell you guys about this one because this is a recent pickup. I bought, <laughs> I swear I've said that about every single thing so far. This is a recent pickup, a recent, recent pickup that I recently got. These recently, most recent. This is something I got like two days ago. So this is actually an Abercrombie and Fitch hoodie. And this is the best the best hoodie I have ever worn, guys. This is an oversized hoodie, so it does fit a little bit baggier, guys, but the arm length, it would fit like a normal hoodie would. It's just around the chest area is a little bit more baggy, and I really like this. And this is the softest hoodie I've ever worn in my life, too. But we've also got this other hoodie over here, which isn't as nice, but it still does the job. This is what I've been rocking for, you know, quite the past few years now. So this is an H&M hoodie, only like $25, which is the nice thing about H&M hoodies. As long as you keep them, you know, in good shape, they're always gonna stay pretty soft a little bit more fitted so like when I'm going to the gym I'll wear these types of hoodies but guys these ones are really nice too I mean I've got nothing to complain about them they do the job no offense h and I'll still take a sponsorship <laughs> now for jeans <laughs> you guys have asked me about this jeans a million times like on TikTok, I probably have like 10 trillion comments as to asking me what fucking pants these are so I'm gonna say this one time and one last time they are Zara jeans they are crop fit <laughs> that's cat I'm still gonna say it like a hundred times but anyway yeah guys these are Zara crop fit jeans I absolutely love these I've rocked these all the time the way that they fit are super nice guys I just like how they're a little bit tapered they come in they've got the crop this is a good tip right here if you're short go and look for for cropped pants because if you're shorter crop pants are gonna fit like regular pants would on you because most pants are made like for the average guy who's like five foot ten and most of us aren't five foot ten or above we're below that so go for crop fit guys and you'll find that those pants will look probably the best on you now my last pair of favorite pants I have are these chinos here which are from Uniqlo. Uh, the really nice thing about these ones guys is it's not a stiff material. These are actually extremely stretchy. They feel really nice on the skin and if you have bigger legs you know it's not going to be super restrictive. You'll still be able to move. You could pop a squat. You know you could start twerking if you wanted to. <laughs> so you've really got lots of options and outfits that you can wear with these ones. Oh boys I almost forgot to do the legends. I actually was editing this video and I'm like oh shit I forgot. I can't forget to do the legends. So boys the next two legends to go up on the board is Alex and Yeshwan. Shout out to the freaking boys. You guys are freaking legends. Thank you so much for following the channel. So that is it, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. You're Brandon. Peace out. Take care, guys.